The worst for an art critic is to, to, to build a system. As Baudelaire said. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I mean, it's impossible. To, to, I mean, uh, for an art critic, an art historian, the system should be, I mean, the thing to, to, uh, to escape, absolutely. So you, 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 it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that there are no systems. I didn't say that <laughs> because sometimes even an artist needs a system, but most of the time the system is not so interesting. And for example, I mean, trying to find a system in uh, I don't know in Matisse work, for example, I mean, it makes no sense. To give an example, you know, this kind of obsession of the system is well very. It's very destructive, but 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 there, yes, there are some systems. And then you have to consider them, but it's not a reason to to produce your own system. <laughs> just a little question, just to take up with uh, Jean-François to take you back to the surature. Um, uh, it, it occurs to me in, in thinking with you about the uh, Max Ernst and also the work you've done on Hamilton and James Joyce um, that the... Uh, yes, I cannot deal with that. Huh? Yeah, that, well, you know, never mind, I, I know about it. <laughs> no, because... Um, but, no, yeah, no. but um, and that's the advantage of having been at jean Francois seminars at, the, mm. at um, Central St. Martins. But um, I'm just, just thinking that uh, that... That surature in the um, in the Max Ernst uh, reminds me that in the day in 1926, the tableau is not struggling with theatre but with poetry, um, and that it's a diff There are different. Uh, it's, it's that that surature is in a sense. I think something of a literary device. I'm, I'm reminded, for instance, I mean, you've quoted Flaubert yourself. I'm reminded of Jeannette's um, uh, study in the uh, Premier Figure, um, where he deals with the kinds of visions and hallucinations that come up in Flaubert's writing, in Madame Bovary, in, in uh, Education Sentimentale, and in The Temptation of Saint Anthony. Um, and the title of that, uh, of that essay by Jeannette is Silence, Les Silences de, de Flaubert. In fact, what is surature in the writing of Flaubert? In a sense, we, um, the whole point is that these visions or hallucinations, which he calls tableau, um, that go on in Emma Bovary's life or uh, Frédéric looking at him, imagining himself in the painting in the Louvre as this, as you know, you saw the chap photographing himself in the Tableau Vivant. Um, and that all of these are within the form of, of, of the book, of the novel um, of, of uh, Flaubert, are surature in a way, are silent. There are moments of silence, just as Bloom's seeing himself in the bath is, in a sense, surature in a collage form. Yeah, so, uh, alors, <laughs> it's a very, very interesting point. Um, surature, you can relate it even functionally to the hallucination, but the pathological side of hallucination, because, and on this, Point. Flaubert is very clear. You know that his texts are amazing. Huh? Uh, I, I made it uh, read. I, I made them read these two letters because they are, they are, he wrote two letters huh, about this matter of illustration. I made it, them read by a lot of psychiatrists. They were amazed by the precision. It's just amazing. So, uh, um, Functionally, it, it fits this idea of, of, of surature with the hallucination in its pathological uh, 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 dimension, let's put it like that. It means, and, and Flaubert is clear, he says, when I have an hallucination, I mean, when I suffer from hallucination, when it's a, a painful experience, uh, I, I have the hallucinatory vision, but at the same time, I still feel what is around. And precisely this uh, 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 mixing up of, of, of the two, I mean, this 
co-presence of the two, this simultaneity of, of the two uh, experiences is painful. The, the pain comes from that, from the, the feeling that you are seeing something, but it doesn't fit with, with reality. It doesn't fit, it doesn't correspond to what is your real experience, what you, you, you really experience in your state of being. Voilà, that's painful. But then he says, in the artistic dimension of hallucination, eh, where there is a tableau, there, there, there is no pain anymore. I am completely absorbed. We are back to absorption. I am totally absorbed in, in my uh, vision. Then it's not painful, it is joyful. It is ecstatic. It is a, 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 a very strong, dramatic opposition between terror and ecstasy. Terror and joy. It's as strong as this. And there is terror when you have both things together. There is ecstasy when you can forget totally the, the, the actual uh, situation, where you are, what you, you feel with your body. Uh, and when you are totally uh, uh, caught by what you, 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 you see, what you imagine, what your mental uh, uh, activity. So, if you follow me, you understand the, the, uh, why the metaphor of the tableau is, it's not a metaphor, yes, it's a metaphor. The metaphor of the tableau is so important because it gives a structure, an internal structure. Le tableau hallucinatoire is the best tableau because it is a tableau where the internal structure is the strongest. And this internal structure is gained against the division of the subject. It means that the ecstasy, the joy, is gained against the terror. So, but then, in the modern art, you have to include the experience of terror. It's why, you see, Sheminsky is, uh, is, fits perfectly. I could not develop, but, but, but Sheminsky is also about hallucination. Anyway, it's why, now, in, in modern art, then, you, 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 you must have, you can have, the, the point was, how can you have the tableau, that experience of the, of, of the I just uh, gave from uh, using Flaubert, how can you uh, combine the tableau and the other side? The, the terror side, the side where the subject is divided, divided, uh, divided. divided, excuse me, divided, uh, divided, um, uh, the, 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 the side of, of terror. Huh? And that's <coughs> what collage does. Collage is about that. It's about collage and the tableau collage, not collage in itself, the tableau collage is precisely this combination. The, and it's why I think Jeff Wall now does so well. Even he does it in a very didactic way. When he, when he, when he makes, for example, a, a, a tableau called La Tombe... La Tombe... The Open Grave? Yes, no. yes. No, no, it's not open. It's Flooded Grave. Flooded Grave. Ah, flooded Grave, excuse me. When he, when you, you know this painting, when he makes this painting, what, what is it? It is the hallucination of a piece of ocean uh, inside the cemetery. It is uh, the, uh, uh, the hallucina an hallucination inside the view. It is perfect. It was so perfect that I didn't show it because it was it's too much, you know. I mean, in a way, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's you know. Uh, but you see, voila, there you, you get it. You see, you get it on a... I would say even didactic, didactical level. I mean, which doesn't mean that the work is bad. I think it's a great work. But, uh. And I'm afraid that has to be our last question and answer. So please return at five minutes to two to, to hear the afternoon sessions. Thank you all. <coughs>